Welcome back, <coughs> Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of July 29th, one month after my birthday on the day. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally through the internet with me today, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, first off, mm-hmm. I've tried Wingstop. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. And see, so, I, I, I've, I've heard an even balance. I've heard, like, the great, and then I've heard they suck. Okay, for, so first I, off, let me, make the, let me make two things that are, I think, feel, feel like a, is very important okay. to this conversation. One, okay. where we are, there's a giant wing shortage, as in literal, yep. I cannot buy wings. I've gone to multiple <laughs> places to try and buy it. It's always gone. <clears throat> I've, been cr- I've been craving them, so this is partly yep. the reason why I went to Wingstop. I make my own wings, and they're... Yeah, I don't want to be that guy, but they're really fucking good. And yeah, no, no, yeah. I mean, two, you, can them. you can say whatever you want about wing them. stop. Good wings. Okay. They overcook them. Now, mm, do you think they double fry them? They probably do. They probably fry them and then f- fry to order is what I would assume. It's probably yeah. pre fried and then they fry it again, make them crispy when they go what out. They, what, is they, what I would what assume. What they do at, um, if you ever had the ones at Zaxby's. Okay. I have. They, um, they put them in the fryer. Yeah. And then they, uh, and then for a certain, like a certain time. And then I think, uh, shake it a little bit, drops it down again. And then once they're done, they put them in the warmer and mm. they stay in a warmer. So they're not like cook. They're mo- sometimes cooked to order, but sometimes they're not. The majority like of the time a- they're chilling out. Yeah, they're like in a. That's it's not steam. very crispy, so that, that makes sense. No, no, yeah, they're, yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not, not crispy. crispy. They're like now, more grilled. So Wingstop <clears throat> is crispy. Mm. Give them that. But okay, so some of these wings you're biting into mm-hmm. taste like some bark. Mm. Tastes like some bark. It's real cooked. I mean, I'm talking like most dehydrated of, of all like water. Of so it, like, it's you get it's a most of them, or is it like you get no one mm-hmm. here and there. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying tops out of 15 wings, maybe two, maybe. Oh, so okay, it's not. That's not bad. It's I'm not, thinking it's, like out of 15 <clears throat> wings, like seven of them. No, no, I would never <clears throat> eat there again. But it, so it's not, it's not that bad. But if I had the choice. I just make my own stuff because it's now, so good. Are these wings worth using for a hot ones challenge? Dude, you keep coming back to this. All right, achievers. We've achievers, never talked about this on air. We want, I want to do this for the longest time. I, I want to as well. It. I've never said not. I won't do it. Mm. First off, it's expensive. Those hot sauces are very expensive for some reason. There's a set. I think I, I feel like I looked it up. It's 30 bucks. It comes with a set of 12. No, it's way more than that. I feel you know like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up now. I assume maybe it's like with a little de- like shot of the. Let's see. Liquid. It's, a, it's like a, it's just like a, it's just like a, like a small bottle. Oh, I got like some really, hold on. I want to show, uh, this is show and tell now, by the way, the Easy Achiever Game podcast every single Friday, sometimes. <laughs> so Achievers, I'm a huge fan of Persona. And I bought like a bunch of vinyls of Persona, and they the just vinyl? came in. Yes. Oh, did they find it? Look how vinyl? good they look. <clears throat> they're good. There's like a. I think oh, you were you, you were not wrong. They are expensive. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. They're. I think they're thirty, like a bottle. Of them. Yeah, the ones the, from the show Hot Ones is yeah. yes, yeah, it's season fourteen hot sauce ten pack, hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah. yeah. But then there's like an actual like different like sets that you can buy yeah you like, can buy different sets i've i've actually purchased from this fine establishment they have great sauces <clears throat> um yeah. the classic sauce very good uh, yeah. we're just giving them free just, promotion at this point but i yeah, just free. i look i just want to do some type of hot sauce challenge like it doesn't we have can. to be hot uh, ones no, no for sure i just want to find the, the set with, i will you know, order or i will order a very hot sauce i have a good i have about four sauces in there that okay. kind of range so okay. not too bad and I, I really just need a punch you in the mouth sauce now. So mm. I'll order one. We'll do it. Mm. It'll be challenging because we don't record together anymore. So I don't know how we're mm. going to do this, but I guess we'll have the wings together and then sauce it. I don't know. It's not important. Why are we talking about this? Mm, we'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll <laughs> Easy Achievers Game Podcast <laughs> comes to you every single Friday. Unless you're on patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. Then you get it as soon as we record it and it goes live. Now, you can head over to patreon.com slash if you want to support us financially. 
You give us however much you think is fair. Starting at the first tier, you can DM us a question, comment, can start that in or idea for the show. We cover it every single week. If you have a question, we cover it. If you have an answer or some sort of inquiry, or if you just want to correct us on something, first off, I'm sure that'd be challenging because we never get anything wrong. Oh, but if you'd sure. like to, if you'd like to try, because again, we would never get anything wrong, but if you'd like to try, <laughs> patreon.com slash each year. If you tweet at us, I will roast the fuck you out of you. Something. I dare you to find <laughs> Alex, I'm going to ask you a question, but first, very quickly, hmm. um, this was told by PC Gamer by EVGA. We covered a story last week. This is kind of a follow-up. Okay. If you remember last week, New Worlds was having some issues with some graphics cards literally catching on fire. No, not really. Not really catching on fire. They, they were blowing up and not working anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, a spokesperson for EVGA said they are going to personally... Any 3090 that was destroyed in the process will be replaced. <clears throat> I did not see many specifics on this. Replaced by I'm, what? You can't find them. <laughs> I assume they... Well, in the article, they said they have some yeah. on the side for specifically mm, replacements. Because they knew that was going to happen. <laughs> I don't think they knew. I think mm. just in case something happens, they have some on hand. Yeah, so, for sure. So, <laughs> so they will, if by chance some achiever is listening, please reach out to the forums or... That EVGA know if you had some sort of issues with yours. I'm sure it's not only 3090s. If it was any card, I'm sure they'll help you. Look, I like to think that they were doing the demo testing and they, the, some dude in the back of the office was like, fuck. Was like, wow, what happened? Man, the 3090 in the office broke. Uh, it's, uh, just keep it's, going. It's smoking. Keep going. Fine. Smoking. This it's is scary. Like, well, we'll just keep these on the side just in case. You know, mm. but well, I don't think we'll ever use them. Uh, Achievers, we have. Okay, okay news day today i'm actually kind of happy we have an okay news day yeah. mm-hmm. um we we're gonna do something else specifically blue box we're still gonna do that don't worry we were waiting for a slow news week but i feel like we need to do this because i think it's gonna happen soon so once it happens it's it's over and we can't cover it anymore but we're gonna get into this news but before we do alex i have a question what, what is that question have been playing even though i know because i told you what to play oh what is it? you told me what to play and I'm just i didn't tell you what to play i no I, you didn't i heavily i, I mean i recommended something playing so um so i the first one because it's not as important okay i i played Fl- flight simulator pretty fun okay. it's interesting um i did find my neighborhood was that fun um would you yeah, like to it, dox yourself right now and just say where you live no Okay, uh, I'm just checking. I mean, it's in Georgia, so if that helps. <laughs> very start narrowing very, it down, you fucks. Yeah, right. No, it's yeah. No, everything's made in Georgia because so we have so such dynamic area. Yep. Um, the the one thing they didn't tell you, um, if for people who care about this game, you have to go to your the contents like, and it's not part of updates. And there's yep. world updates that this. you actually have to actually download. Yeah, there was one for like Japan, uh, cool. other place, you know, Asia, other stuff. And mm-hmm. there was one for the U.S. Because when I was flying, everything looked very not as gr- not as realistic. It was very cartoony green, and everything was kind of like uh, more just boxy instead of more yeah. detailed. And um, I was watching kind of funny play theirs, and I was like, God, theirs looks so detailed. I was like, Why? What is the difference? What did I do? But I looked. Found the content, updated it, so much better. Okay, so it, you did see a noticeable yeah. improvement. Yes, so much better. Yeah. Okay. It's, it was very noticeable. It, like I can literally see, like there, there's a Walmart near us. I you can't <laughs> see the logo, but you can see the building and the parking yeah. lot and stuff That's like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, but it was fun. Now the other thing, Death Door. Death Door. Oh, such a fun my game. God. Dude. All right. I and literally I- started last night. Played it for three hours straight couldn't put it down i had i couldn't put it down until i beat the witch oh you beat her already oh yeah i beat her i have not beaten the witch i am uh for people who know i am going to the frog king like i'm in that wow yeah, I, just, okay. I, I just i just started that area i am halfway through the 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 witch's manor <clears throat> um really quickly for people who don't know this is a 3d top down action very zelda like game um uh, it gets a lot of inspiration from Souls. It gets a lot of inspiration from Zelda with with how it. Um, there's a the very, weapon. There's a game that's very similar to this. I think it was on the Titan Vita. Souls. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's just like Titan Souls. If you played yes. that on the Vita, great game, and yes. I think it's on yes. PS4 as well. Yes, um, that's exactly what I was thinking. Of. It was developed by. Trying to find um, this. Uh, it's uh, Devolver Digital. 
Paul Giorgio, mm-hmm. um, I believe did they I think they just published this. And it's crazy because usually we give them shit. Acid Nerve. <laughs> I like Devolver Digital. Uh, Acid no, Nerve um, developed the game. Acid, <clears throat> Acid Nerve developed it and then, of course, published by Devolver Digital. Fantastic game so far. I'm oh, in the very beginnings, awesome. but my God, am I having fun. I just... Yeah, uh, a, there's some areas that are funny and it's just awesome, dude. Uh, uh, the, uh, no spoilers, <clears throat> but there is a, a gentleman that's head turns into a bowl of soup. Which is hilarious. I, I which, is, they, which is hilarious. Like for people who've seen, I'm sure they've seen him. They, he, he I think he's supposed to be a knockoff of yeah, Mushroom Guy from Dark Souls. Definitely is. Which because as soon as I saw him, I was like, hey, it's another a Dark Souls reference. reference. I feel like in this game, first off, I think this game is I think like this, heavily this oh, art style, sure. especially with art style. I think it's the point. Do you remember? Yeah, it is. Do you remember? It's very in the very beginning of the witch area. Did you see Smog? I mean, like that boss, mini boss with the giant mace. Oh yeah, that's Smog. I mean, I yeah. saw it. And I was like, "This is no, Smog." No, no, no. It's like the ones that's on yeah. the side, and you go in and you yeah. go, Doom. and he, Doom. he hits it over and over again. I, like, I looked at him. His, his character like, design like, was Smog. The only difference oh, is like, his helmet. He looked the like, exact oh same. I'm not gonna lie. He beat me a couple times. Like, oh, I so died. Fast. I think I died four or five times. I was trying to memorize yeah. his attack style. He would, and yeah, it, I find and he mixes it, it up, which is actually, which I actually liked. I um, just waited until because he, he, you have to wait some certain pattern. He does like twice, yeah. and then he have a second, mm-hmm. and then you can hit him. You get your uh, arrows back up. Shoot arrows. Tick tick tick. Yep, some arrows. Yep. What did yep. you think of? <clears throat> this is turning into a death store podcast, I guess. But we, I, I, I love this game, Achievers. Only twenty dollars. It, yeah. It's only on Xbox, unfortunately. But my god, to go play this, anyways. What did you think of there isn't really a punishment for dying? Did you, think I, about do, that? you know, I noticed that too. Yeah. I, I thought I was freaking out. I was when like, I died, I was I like, can't oh, see what I'm losing and I'm scared. What I went it? to look, I, you know, Dark Souls. I'm like, all right, I need to go yeah. get my souls. Looked in the, still have my yeah. souls. I was like, oh, did I lose a seed? Achievers seeds are the health in the game. You look at the seeds, you'll have all my seeds. I went, yep. I, something must have happened, and I, I tried, and I went, no, <clears throat> you, you, there's no punishment for dying. That is clear right now. Maybe something down the line happens, but right now I was like, okay. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> Trust mm-hmm. me, I, I don't. I kind of like not be, feeling too pressured right now. Um, mm-hmm. Not every game needs to, like, you know, severely punish you. No, for you, sure. And, I mean, and that's why, that's why enemies honestly, respawn that's why and stuff. Lo- so it's not like you're... Yeah. yeah it's, not, it's not... Anytime for, you go back game. to the main hub area, th- your thing, um, they respawn. Yeah. And I'm actually enjoying that there's no countermeasure because, I mean, it is it is a little hard, you know, but um, it's not crazy like Dark Souls. It's it's enjoyable. So I was like, I'm, 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 I'm having so much fun. I'm probably, after this, I'm probably going to go play some more. If, if this keeps going... It's got the Achiever's seal of approval. It's got mm-hmm. the Achiever's seal of approval. I can't it's wait. It's definitely more than a drive-by game. <laughs> definitely, definitely more, definitely more. Alex, let's talk about some news. Okay. Uh, I, I I was struggling for which one to put first. I'm going to okay. I'm gonna go with the Activision Blizzard update that we have. So there was a couple oh, things okay. that's happened since we covered this last week. Uh, mm-hmm. To quick, uh, Please watch last week's episode if you want an update on the full situation. Um, to boil it down, there's a lawsuit, a lot of crazy accusations. If you want a full note down of everything, check out last week's episode. There are tongue quotes in that episode if you just want to hear that. But a couple things. They released a statement basically saying, none of this is true, blah, blah, blah. Then they, uh, the Blizzard, Activision Blizzard employees uh, striked yesterday. As of recording, this is July 29th. They striked yesterday, um, July 28th. Same day, I believe, um, Bobby Kotick, the CEO, released a letter saying that their uh, message was tone deaf, all these mm-hmm. things, basically trying to appease to people. And then the next day, people were talking of unionizing and things like that. Not necessarily the Activision Blizzard people, but a lot of people in the industry were talking about it. Maybe between them, yeah. they're also talking about it. We now know that they have allegedly it seems i don't know if this is confirmed i couldn't see a specific thing that said they for sure have them but it seems like it's true activision blizzard has hired a union busting firm that essentially specializes in making sure unions don't happen just the same thing that is happening in amazon currently because they want to unionize 
So they have now hired a union busting firm to make sure, I guess, the Activision Blizzard people do not unionize. This is pretty crazy, and we're getting into something could happen from this. I'm very interested to see where this goes forward. Um, I did a couple tweets uh, over the couple, last few weeks, just a couple of thoughts that I've had. If you want my full thoughts and everything, uh, check out my Twitter. I don't really have much else to say. I just want to update a couple people on where we're at right now where we're seemingly going. I don't know. Um, I know Dresden Schreier is putting out a lot of articles based on things he's heard as well. Who knows what comes up? Alex, mm. anything to comment? It's this type of stuff is it's it's I'm not gonna lie way over my head. No, I get it. I mean, well, it's oh, so usually I ask you and you dumb it for me. <laughs> well, it's one of those things that. <clears throat> It's hard to talk about. We're talking about people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people yeah. involved, and you want the best situation for everyone, especially if one side was very mean and unsavory to the other side. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to talk about. We, we're not in this situation as well. It's, it's, but I it's try hard. to be fair. It's, like, why can't people just, you know, be not nice be to dicks. each other? Yeah, we're, like, we're at a time right now where people need to be nice to each other. Yeah. And I will... I didn't, I didn't want to bring this up, but I will... There was a there's a picture floating around of a bunch of executives of Blizzard, uh, Activision Blizzard, oh posing with a Bill Cosby picture, oh. and in a suite called the Bill Cosby Suite. I guess this is a thing they joked about. Um, <clears throat> it, right. I mean, it's news where I I don't pick the news. I just want to tell you guys mm, so you have full information. But I saw that and went, "What the fuck is this place?" I. I I I don't even know what to say about that. That they're taking. I mean, if you want to look it up, you don't believe me. Please look it up yourself. Just put Bill Cosby sweet Activision Blizzard. I'm sure you'll find it. I'm I don't think I want to look that up on my phone. It's it's it. I, when I saw that, I was like, this it it you can't. It you, it's so hard to even believe that's a thing that has happened. That that these people. First off, I think one of them was the head of HR at the time, which is like, what Infamous the fuck? Bill, Cos Infamous Bill Cosby Suites. That sounds like the Kotaku article that you're reading from. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, the, yeah Kotaku correct. reported on this. Uh, I read into, the, apparently they had a Discord where they talked about, you know, some filthy Why things. Why do as they well. all have a picture? Why do they all on a bed I, I with a picture of Bill I Cosby? don't fully understand what the suite even means, <clears throat> but we all know what Bill Cosby has been accused of, so... I can't imagine well, what they are meaning by this, but my God, well, was, this is the, this is the type of person we're, we're dealing with here. I mean, this is pretty disgusting. If, I mean, we all have the context of this situation. So if you, if you want to look it up, mm. just look up that and you will find it moving on. Let's do, let's do a new dev studio. Has mm. announced in a press relief. That's no moon studio is bringing together talent from franchises like last of us, call of duty, Modern warfare, God of war, destiny, <clears throat> many others. They're bringing some senior figures along with backgrounds at PlayStation studios. Michael Mumbaro, formerly head of PlayStation visual arts and <clears throat> achievers that have been listening for a while. Remember, this is the man that was highly, highly rumored to have been trying to get an uncharted remake working for uncharted one, but then was pushed to start the, Last of Us 1 remake. You remember this story, Alex. This was from weeks ago now. But he was working with, the, with originally the Uncharted remake for the first one, then got pushed to do the Last of Us remake. Last, and then, yeah, he, right. and then he just left after that because yeah, he, he, like, he didn't want to do it. He wanted to do Uncharted. And it seems he yeah. just left. Mm -hmm. He is the CEO. And, and Tina Kowalskowisk? Kowalskowisk? Sorry if I mispronounced that. Alex... Correct me if you know it. Formerly head of product development at Sony Santa Monica is chief strategy officer. The studio plans on making a third person action adventure game and it's backed by a $100 million investment by Smilegate. This is the creator of the Crossfire series. This studio is going to be based in Los Angeles and San Diego. And the studio aims to build a team of 100 developers by 2022. It wasn't too much here. It's not clearly obvious that they're partnering with anyone just yet. It's not, you know. We, who knows who they're actually going to release their platforms on or who they're already talking to to get it. It looks like they have plenty of ties to PlayStation, so who knows? They might get some PlayStation exclusive games or they might be some sort of second party now. But first off, that's a good name. That's No Moon. Come on. Star Wars reference in your studio name is pretty, pretty good. 
Second, uh, I feel like this is a welcome add to the development. I want. I as soon as I heard third person action adventure, I was like, All right. do you and think they got a hundred million bucks. Wars game? No, they're a new studio. Do think, I think they're making. Do you think, a, they, do you think they should one day should because of their name? They definitely should because yeah. uh, in it would be pretty cheeky if they are working on a Star Wars game and yeah. calling themselves that Snow Moon. That'd yeah. be pretty cheeky. I'd actually love that, but I, I would I doubt that. Um, just because Such they're a, a new word, studio, cheeky. unless they are um partnering with. Them. I would believe yeah. it if they're partnering with them, but I don't think they're. All right, Alex. And we got some mm. Netflix shows to talk about. Mm-hmm. Oh, really quick, before we move on, Alex, really quick. Mm. Anything for you? I figured nothing. I mean, there's nothing to really talk about. Really. I mean, I'm <laughs> excited that there's a new studio that has yeah. the, a, a chance to uh, create things. They got some talent. They have a yeah. lot of talent on the That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they uh, can put out. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, it could be another Death's Door, you know, type of situation. Right, where like, wow, I didn't know I was going to like this, but yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's try that. Let's go to <clears throat> Netflix series. Dragon Age may be getting a series if this is. We believe we may be finding ourselves in Thetis once again. These rumors from Giant Freaking Robot are to be believed. So apparently, this person is a credible source within um, the TV space. I do know. I do not know of him personally, but apparently, there are a lot of trusted sources that do believe him, and he has a lot of trusted sources in the Netflix production, and they are saying that there is a Dragon Age series, quote, in the works, whatever that means. Um, mm-hmm. Not much else was given, but if we're putting in the context of they have two incredibly popular video game adaptions from Castlevania and, ba- and Witcher, I don't think it's completely out of the realm to actually believe that they could be working on some sort of Dragon Age series. Um, and for everyone who doesn't know, Dragon Age Origins is a game developed by Bioware and was first released on November 3rd, 2009. PS3, 360, and PC. It was later released. Um, the latest released in the series was called Dragon Age Inquisition. This released November 18th, 2014 on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. And of course, we are looking forward to Dragon Age 4, which we are unsure of the date, but there are some rumors that it may be releasing next year. Excited. Very excited. We also have a <clears throat> also rumor of a Final Fantasy live action series with literally basically the same story same person is saying all right now there's a final fantasy live action also working um i can believe both of these i do want to le- lean towards the dragon age one a little more just because i mean they already have the witcher super successful i mean it <clears throat> seems as like more of a one-to-one season two comes out this holiday oh, i can't wait for it so good so excited so good i so good um alex what if you had to pick which one are you going for which which Dragon Age or Final Fantasy? Mm-hmm. If you had to pick Dragon this Age. TV show to watch, Dragon Age, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, me too. It's no it's no I, contest for only, me. The, but... only, the only reason is because we've had so many Final Fantasy things, uh, games, and thing, yeah, shows and things like weird I'm, movies. I mean, I feel like at this point, I'm just like, it's just. I mean, I like I like Final Fantasy, but like but, if they're, I feel like they're gonna if they're gonna do Final Fantasy, I feel like they're gonna do Final Fantasy seven. They better again. do. They better do ten. If they do ten, they win me over, but they won't. It's gonna no, be. Some, they're gonna do. They're gonna do seven. It's gonna be some new thing. Ah, it better not be seven. Scored. I swear to God, yeah. it better not be seven. If it, if they come out as like we're doing Final Fantasy seven, I'm that. They're gonna do seven. It's either there's other seven, Final Fantasy games other than it's seven. Either, it's either seven or they're gonna get. It's been really popular for some reason, but people really like fifteen. Like with uh, uh, was not this. I think that's his name, right? Do people like fifteen? I mean, I, I feel I like people like people 14 like, much more 15. than 15, right? Well, 14 was the online one, right? Right, yeah. Remember Born? Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll do something about that. I don't know. That'd be cool. I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting on the new game. The new game looks dope. God, the new game looks so good. Final Fantasy 16? Yeah, it's back to, like, the, not the future stuff. It's back to, like, the medieval, like, swords and shit. Mm-hmm. It looks I'm so, it, dude, it looks so good. Um, Really quick, because I haven't bitched <laughs> about it in an episode. Oh, here we go. Release it on consoles, you cowards. I didn't cover it last week, but as a reminder, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 is being remade for the mobile and PC, and it's not coming on consoles. Why and do you know what and do you like know what a what an executive from Square Enix said when asked about if it's coming to consoles? If there's demand. <laughs> what do you mean is there demand? You released Seven different Legend of Mana games on console. 
that sold m- probably less than a million copies altogether, barely. I never even touched a case. Why? Well, it's, it's there has to be a reason. They must not want to release it. They it it, it just <clears throat> it just Alex. We keep coming back to it, and I keep getting angry. Look, if they're so scared to put it on console, at least just do PlayStation, just because they're so up their butt anyway. Just uh, do it on on PS5, and I'll be fine with that. Any console. I'll take it. Console. Switch. Okay. Yeah. You know I'm yeah. desperate when I say release it on Switch. All right. You know I am. How much you, how, how much you want to bet it's going to be on the Steam Deck? Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking... <laughs> Alex, if too. it's what, what? Oh. it's a portable BC, PC that we've never had before. You know what else is oh. a portable PC? A laptop. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. A laptop. That's actually really good. I've never honestly thought about that, but that is true. Yeah. That it, it, said, it said it's the first port. It's like the first the portable, first portable PC. PC, and you're like, uh, <laughs> Alex's fucking face right now. It's amazing. <laughs> Like they're literally advertising right now Portable the, PC. the new Alienware laptops with the 30s series <laughs> graphics cards. And you're telling me that, that you're telling me that those aren't portable? <laughs> Alex, n- of Get course not. You have to plug it up, right? I'm never, I'm that is a good point. That is a really, I'm be honest, I have never thought about that. That is, I didn't it's like really think about it. After, after, when they showed Steam Deck, <laughs> they like, forgot oh about God, laptops like, existing. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, holy shit, this is. Yeah. <laughs> Like oh, the laptop people over here. I've lived with laptops my whole life. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, PlayStation Five has surpassed 10 million oh. units sold. Remains the fastest selling console in Sony Interactive Entertainment's <laughs> history. Um, so they had a big investor thing. They're like, look how much stuff we sold. Uh, currently they are on track to outsell the PS4. Of course, if they maintain this, this is 10 million units. This is insane. Uh, especially compared to the already crazy success that the PS4 had, and this is selling even more, and it's selling even more in COVID times. On top of COVID times, it's selling in a semiconductor shortage as well. So you see, that's only gonna last until 2023. I wouldn't be surprised. I I think it, a lot of stuff is right today that it says that the the conductor there it will be behind and it's until it, uh, 2023 that's nuts i'm not mm-hmm. shocked because not only do phones need it not only do systems need it but cars need it too so literally everything needs this one component so so yeah so I'm, we're gonna be i'm not shocked really- to alex i mean this is this is crazy 10 million units that's not the fucking scoff at at all i'm very i'm very i'm very first off how many, how many uh, it's only been a year not even no, not even a year. It not released year, in November. That is, is ridiculous. Yeah, very crazy. And again, COVID and semiconductors. This is very oh, impressive for them. I'm, I'm ways to make that money for that thing, man. Yeah, and uh, also to know, I did not uh, write this down, but Xbox did say that this this is their fastest selling system ever, and of course, switches never stop selling ever. So I, we're I in a very really healthy like, spot in the industry. I think. I don't know if I if it was correct. I don't know if I have to look it up. Is is Xbox Series X doing better than PS5 right now? Um, the uh, Microsoft does not release sales numbers anymore because they uh, they haven't released sales numbers since the Xbox One, uh, mostly mm-hmm. because uh, they did really bad and they just haven't announced it it's ever. Like where I read uh, something that says that the Series I, X is doing better. It did better for a f- I think a few months, but it is not outselling. I don't think if Xbox sold more than 10 million units, <clears throat> they would have let you know. Trust me. They would have told you. So I don't think they are. I think that if if I had to guess, this is fucking, I'm pulling it out my ass. I wouldn't be shocked if they're at 7 million units, 6 million units. Mm-hmm. They're probably almost, because uh, they were, know, so, know, they were outsold a, two to one. Month, I know last month Series X did better than PS5 in sales. but Yes, yeah, so there's months that. that Series X does better, yeah. but PlayStation 5 sells more overall. But um, <clears> I remember... Uh, when we got some idea of how much Xbox One was selling, they were being outsold almost two to one and probably more than two to one. So they, they were outsold a lot. Now, this could be different this time around, of course. Anything could change, but that's what I heard. They were being outsold incredibly well. So I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox is sitting around six to seven million. And that's still a good number, too. I mean, it's not, it's not like that's a sad number. That's a lot of money. 
Marvel's, uh, they also released a bunch of other things uh, I wanted to read because all these are very interesting to me. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales from Insomniac has sold more than 6.5 million copies since releasing on November 12th, 2022. 6.5 million copies. Now that is, of course, probably including both PS4, PS5 versions, including probably the special edition as well. But... That is an incredible amount of copies, especially for a game on a single platform. Very impressive. Insomniac is the golden goose. MLB The Show 21 from San San Diego Studios is the fastest selling title in the franchise history with more than 2 million copies sold across all platforms. Still weird that they have to say that. Mm -hmm. Sold on Xbox. So weird. The game has reached more than uh, 4 million players since releasing on April 16, 2021. Alex, you keep, um, I keep interrupting you. Did you have, uh, have something to say? I apologize. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it, um, my throat. Oh, it's so, your throat. Okay. I thought yeah, I was I, interrupting you every single time, and I was like, oh, let me finish this sentence. No, no, I'll get no, back no, to you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had a cold last week. And uh-huh. it says we the did. cough. Uh, the, it lasts about two weeks, and it's, it's so annoying. So I have that. Right. Like, the, <clears throat> I have to clear yeah, you got, throat the, you got the throat. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I had my hole somewhere, but I left them somewhere. Returnal from Housemark, a new IP that launched um, on the PS5, has sold more than 560,000 copies since releasing on April 30th, 2020. It's not very good, but context only on PS5, but, you know, you sold 10 million PS5s and only 560,000 copies. But it's only been out since April. So there's a lot of, like, you know, buts, but, 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 but. At the end of the day, Returnal only selling 506 copies. Ugh, not great. You, told me the other day. you did finish it, right? Returnal? Yes and no. I mm. finished the story. I, I beat the story. Now, apparently, there's a secret ending that's the actual ending that I could go do and stuff. So, yeah. But it's, right. but it's confusing. Whatever. See, this is my problem with, with how uh, they're doing this. So, for the trophies in the game, okay. I have done Act 1 and Act 2. But there's three X. Yes, but apparently the it's it says it's a secret ending. So what what is it? Is it part of the story or is it part of the like? It's I'm I'm so confused with this game. Look it up. I had to had to unlock Act Three. I did. It, it's you have to find these fragments. Um, oh. basically a a bunch of fragments of a thing, and then you unlock something at the end of the game. And I was like, okay, whatever. I I, I think I eventually will, but I got Death Door now. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac Games has sold more than 1.1 million copies since releasing June 11th, 2021. Oof. Oof. Now, these aren't completely comparable, especially because Ratchet and Clank is rated E for everyone, so it's going to be at a broader audience. But <laughs> Ratchet and Clank has uh, doubled over Returnal in copies sold, but it is an established franchise. So it's a little different, but it hasn't been out as long, too. So, yeah. A lot, a lot of things, but. Uh, first off, let's give it up for Insomniac. Uh, Ratchet and Clank and Marvel Spider Man at the launch of PS5 basically, and sold a combined total of like, um, like seven million copies of the games. My God, they're like yeah. one of the best studios that we probably have in the industry right now. Probably Naughty Dog and Insomniac Games, and then what? I mean, those are probably the two best studios we have santa monica you said i I think naughty dog and insomniac are probably like two of the best studios we have in the industry and they're all uh, with sony we have also so well sony santa monica i could yeah i would agree they're probably one of the best as well and now no we've also we've also said three playstation studios (laughs) are all the best in the industry we're xbox fanboys but i give it to playstation they got some good studios they got they have like <clears throat> the best studios probably like like almost probably yeah. probably in gaming history they probably have the best game studios ever yeah yeah sean who's, Layden is in the news alex who's, who's that who's, who's sean that? Layden is in the news someone playstation who's, doesn't pretends that doesn't exist anymore sean mm-hmm. Layden, the man who needs no injection but just in case you don't know this was the former sony president and ceo he lasted for uh uh, he started his journey of CEO and president in April of 2014. He replaced Jack Trenton 
and remained in this position until March 2018, where he was appointed head of PlayStation Worldwide Studios. And as of September 30th, 2019, announced via PlayStation's Twitter page, Sean Layden mysteriously stepped down as head of studios and was placed by current head Herman Holst. We still naming, don't I'm know what this, happened. I'm naming this uh, Sean Layden. It lives. Yes. <laughs> Streamline Media Group has more than 200 employees working on businesses such as game outsourcing, art, and testing. It focuses on doing remote work for other companies, and because of the pandemic, it has become a critical issue for the expansion of the game industry, which has seen lots of delays of AAA games. So they have been much necessary. So it looks like Streamline Media Group is essentially a almost hire us and we'll help you with your game kind of studio. Like they, I don't think they make their own games. It was very unclear on... Uh, and their website was really weird, but so he's back in the gaming industry at least. Yeah, he is back. He is back. I'm very. <clears throat> I'm. I'm assuming he had a um, non compete agreement, so he probably enjoyed his extra long vacation, and then Streamline either approached him or they approached Streamline and mm-hmm. joined up with them. They're so, like, "You sure you want to retire right now, man?" I'm say hey, I would have. That man's well over millions of dollars in the bank. Mm-hmm. I would have, but hey, maybe he was like bored. He was like, "I gotta get the house." Yeah, he's, like, he's been something. he's been he's been at the house since September. So he's been chilling of 2019. Oh, yeah. So he's probably like, I need, I need to get out of here. He saw COVID coming. He's like, oh, time to get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so curious. I would love to talk to Sean Layden. I would love to. He probably he probably has so much red tape all over him. He he couldn't <clears> talk <throat> about much, but I would love to sit down and talk to him and ask him like what his, th- his thoughts are and of everything. Oh my god, Splitgate. The arena shooter with uh, portals. If you remember this, this is essentially Halo, Halo and Halo Portal put in a single game. Me and Alex very much enjoyed the uh, look of this game, but we n- never really got our hands on it. Yeah, uh, They tried to release the game, but it was so popular that they had to actually delay the launch so they can upgrade the server capacity of this game because they see... As I'm assuming in the back end, <laughs> they're noticing how many pre-orders of this game probably exist, and they're like, we don't have enough server space. So they're probably trying to get on it. They said it was the servers are offline. Yeah, yeah. So they had to delay this game. So I will be trying this probably day three. Assumably day one and two are going to be offline. Yeah. So I'm probably going to be around day three or four Mm. and playing this game. But I do want to play this game. Alex, with Mm. me? Playing this with me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the one. I'm the one asked you if you want to play. No, you know, I found this game. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, all by myself. Mm, All by yourself. Quick, quick, uh, quick episode today. Achievers. Quick yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a couple long ones, so not too bad. August Games with Gold have been released. August Games with Gold have been released. Darksiders 3, Ukulele, Lost Planet 3, Garo, Mark of the Wolves. I, Alex, I was going to complain about this when I first saw this. I was going to be like, this is terrible. And then I remembered the last few months and went, you know what? This isn't that bad. This is better than what Comparing to the last few months, you got Darksiders 3. <laughs> I know some people like ukulele. I think they're weirdos. Ukulele I, is actually fun. It's I, think, I played mm, it. You're a weirdo, it, Alex. You're being weird. It, for people who that's like that's a chameleon uh, boy running around with a little bat. I mean, tell that to the fucking ratchet and clank little fucking <laughs> long max with a robot. I mean, or Jack and Daxter or Banjo Kazooie. It's the same shit. I mean, it's it's, it's that type of game. It, you're so right. You're so right. I mean, it, I mean, I it gives me a lot of Banjo Kazooie vibes, and I actually played a good bit of it. it was You're on enjoyable. fire today, by the way. I, I First tried. the laptop thing, and now this. That's fucking hilarious. The laptop is. <laughs> You're so pissed off. You're like, fuck. I look. I give. <laughs> got him. I, give I got him going again. Props, give them props on what they're trying to do with the Steam Deck. First, first, it looks atrocious. Second, there's no need for bad. it. It does. Like really, to upgrade the memory, you're gonna charge me two hundred dollars? No thanks. I'm good. Uh, really quick, we <laughs> let not to stick on the stream deck. What the fuck is going on with that with the analog sticks? Really, for real, what's going on with that? Who designed that and said, you know what, this is good? <clears throat> I would love, pl- I love playing like this. <laughs> like, what yeah. the fuck? Why? Why? It's like <laughs> so. I we play like this. So, did you really th- not think the engineers are gonna be like, your palms are in the way of the mouse pads? So, okay, play like this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get my hands on one. It's not gonna happen, but yeah. I would love to get my hands on one. I'm I, I'm never gonna touch one in person, probably. But I would love apparently, to like. Apparently, so I know. apparently, the switch is stronger than it because it can play. No, 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 no. You read into I, that incorrectly. I know. I was joking. I, was <laughs> I know you were. I know you were. Um, 
it, for reference of what he's talking about, there, <laughs> apparently it can't, it couldn't run an anti cheat, but now I guess it, it's fine because someone said they got it playing on. It's I'm so confused on but how. I thought it was a, I thought it was a mini portable PC. I thought. <laughs> I thought you could download Windows on it. PlayStation Plus games are August 2021 have been announced. Hunters Arena Legends, Tennis World Tour 2, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Hunters Arena all... Legends, is that that new game that was coming? Like, it's new? I think so. I think this was yeah. released. I think I was um, <laughs> watching a stream for... Um, I, I think you'll know him. Uh, uh, Fighting Cowboy. He does the, all yeah. the Dark Souls. Yeah, the Dark Souls stuff. Uh, yeah. Walkthroughs. He, I was watching, I think, it, it, one of the walkthroughs he was playing, and he was like, yeah, I tried uh, the Hunter's game. Biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> he was like, he, he said it was so worth it. That dude's he a said savage. It was, he said literally it was, it, I, I, sorry if I quote you wrong, cowboy, but I swear, he said something about, it. like, yeah, this is the last couple hours, I won't get back. Oh, damn. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Apart. I just couldn't remember that's what he said, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm looking at this 30 player battle royale Hunters Arena. I don't know if it came out right August now. 3rd. Yeah, so it's coming day and date it's to either, plus. I can't remember if it's that or if it's the. No, I'm Hood. sorry. Oh, I, you're talking about Hood that, Outlaws. Yes. Oh, I heard that was. I heard that, that was bad. That, I got it. I got the game oh, mixed up. It's okay. Hood, no, it's okay. You corrected. Man. You corrected yourself. Yeah. Hood's Outlaws. It's yeah, I heard that was bad. I heard that was that. real bad. That was trash, apparently. Yeah, I heard that was like not. It wasn't like, oh, this is kind of bad. No, I heard they were like, this is terrible. Yeah. No, what is this one? Hunters? What? Hunters Arena Legends Arena. is what it's called. I'm at the PlayStation blog where they first uh, debuted the yeah, game. This, this game I'm looks wild, like... by the way. There's like a guy with af with an <laughs> afro on that says Disco Star, and he's got like a mace. It is weird Whoa. looking. This is interesting. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's kind of like melee crazy. adjacent, and you're you can choose seventeen different hunters. Oh no, this is the one that I wanted to try. Actually, <laughs> you shit it, on the only yeah. game you wanted to play. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, I see. I saw this one. This one actually looks dope. This does look kind of cool. This is very much a like <clears throat> meant to be a uh, uh, battle royale type games. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, there's a, a solo mode. Is a thirty player free for all where your skills as the Ultimate Hunter will be tested. You will experience boundless freedom as you won't be forced to constantly battle other players to claim your victory. Instead, you'll be given the freedom to explore dungeons and hunt dangerous boss demons to collect loot and grow stronger. Another interesting element is that you can temporarily team up, team up with other players to hunt down a strong boss demon. It's all my games from here. As soon as you finish off your foe by working together, it will become a life or death battle for precious loot. Interesting. I, th I think this is the game. This sounds I like um, a, I remember seeing a trailer. And it looked like there was like it, it gave me Ghost of Tsushima vibes, but it looked like you were like this like ninja or samurai on top of a building, and you were attacking another like character, like you were battling it out. And I was like, this, this, I think this is the game. That I'm it sounds of. like a hybrid of Dragon Age Inquisition's multiplayer mixed with Division's um, Dark Zone, mm -hmm. where like you can work together, but like you gotta trust the other person to not like yeah. immediately murder you when you beat the boss for the loot. Um, and then there's a trio mode, and then there's a tag match apparently as well. Very interesting game. I actually kind of, actually kind of want to play this now. Um, I think yeah, I will no, be I downloading this on PlayStation it. Plus to try I apologize this. Apologize that I messed that up, but who is it? You corrected. It's okay. You corrected yourself. No, no yeah. issue. We all make mistakes. Yeah, no. Um, no, yeah. And we can all just rejoice in that Hood and Outlaws was a bad game. Yes. yes bad game. Yeah, Unfortunately, I actually was excited about that at first, and then I like read about the game and went, "Oh, this isn't for me." And then it came out and it was bad. And I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. Sorry, mm -hmm. guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Alex. Yes. Ready to get upset? Uh, I mean, I, I have been because of the Steam Deck. I got, you have been. So I have good news, but, but I have like good news similar to maybe some sort of like chocolate ball with frosting in the middle. So the chocolate ball. Good news. Look, you know I like my dessert first. Just but the, but the, the yeah, but the frosting is like tainted. It's like spoiled. So it's that's the bad news. Okay. It appears mm. that there's a new PlayStation Five beta firmware. It's currently available in certain regions. There's a bunch of different improvements. Let's go down them. 3D audio support for TV speakers. Um, some UI improvements. Some customization options are going to be available. Control center can be personalized. You can rearrange some of the controls at the very bottom and things like that. 
You can view and write messages. There's an updated friends tab. P- PS4 and PS5 game versions are now separated on the home screen and on your library. And there will now be a trophy tracker. So on your control center, you'll be able to track trophies. Um, and apparently it's five per game. So the control center for the game, you could track five trophies specifically. <clears throat> now, does that mean tracking it just puts the trophy up? Probably. It probably does not actually do anything. It probably just shows you the five trophies up in the control yeah. center of the game. But it's still, it could be a cool feature later on. Uh, you can now switch between 720p and 1080p quality on a PlayStation Now. And for, of course, the much more exciting and much bigger news, the SSD support is coming in this firmware update. Seagate has confirmed that their new Fire Cuba 530 SSD will be supported on their PS5 now. Yeah, the Fire Cuda. This is with a couple caveats. Let's get ready for those, okay? Mm-hmm. So, the, P- the beta for the PS5 is going to be adding external storage options, technically internal. I, I forgot that the PS5, when I was writing this up. Look, I'm telling you now, good luck uh, uh, fucking being able to pay for this thing. So, <laughs> so the PS5 has additional storage options but you have to open the ps5's um uh basically innards open Mm -hmm. um it's gonna be at the bottom you pop it open there's a little screw on the top left you unscrew that that's where the ssd clips in you just clip it in there with one more screw you take out clip it in screw that in close it you're done but a couple caveats so sony stated on their patch notes for the beta They do not guarantee that specs Sony has given out will ensure that the SSD will even work. And on top of that, Sony is also recommending that you have that you purchase heatsink as well as a couple other requirements to ensure that you do not uh, mess anything up. Now, again, do you know now you're they're telling you to look into heat sinking for these things. Whew, red flags all over that. They're also not guaranteeing that the specs they give you will run the SSD. What? Why do they not know it will work? Are they kind of covering their ass just in case some drive comes out that doesn't work? That seems yep. odd, but maybe that's yep. why. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for that. The heat seek <laughs> thing? What the fuck? Anyways, let's get well, to the you prices. Have, you should have the heat sink on any fucking like ssd i mean that's why um nvmes that's why you have that little slab on on computers that the little thing that covers it that's a heat sink right but the right but the issue is you didn't find a better way of fixing this prior to launch you're telling people to now <coughs> buy heat sinks for the te- the storage as well on which, top of and the, which and is funny because how are you going to connect the heat sink in the ps5 and I, then put I, the cover on i, I was kind of confused on what i, I was hoping i was honestly mm-hmm. alex hoping you'd explain this to me so like the I'd heat have to sink, tear, I'd have to tear apart a PS5 to be able to look at it. Yeah, I, I, I watched a like, video of how to do it. It's super easy. Literally on the yeah. underside of the PS5, you take the cover off. Okay. The top left corner is. It's literally completely obvious that there's an SSD that's supposed to go there. There's a little. Cl- okay, uh, so it, I think I've seen it. It's, it's like open, it's a, and there's like just one SSD right there. It's a thin white cover that one <clears> screw <throat> you take off, it comes <clears> off. <throat> And then mm-hmm. right there, there's the little spring, not spring, but the little... Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's you, like a you flap. take that screw out, flaps out, screw the back in. A little flap, it. that's that's where you get a heat sink, because that flap, mm. it, you, it doesn't have a heat sink already, Thank already you. built in. Got it. So, the, so usually there's heat sinks, like that little flap on the other side, there's like, it's like, it's not thermal paste, but it's like similar to it, and then you flap it down. That's what, the, you, like I said, you use in computers <clears throat> for in, in VMEs. Not for the prices. Oh, good luck. 500 gigabytes. This is according to Seagate's website. Now, 500 gigs. 500 gigs. Terabyte. 149.99. One terabyte. 254.99. This is all in US dollars. Two terabytes. 514.99. And four terabytes. 9.99. It literally 99. doubles every time. It's not a. It's not even a hundred bucks per terabyte it literally doubles in price now we all knew that the mvmes were going to be expensive i don't think people were quite prepared for it to be this expensive uh, because it is very jarring for context you're paying half of the system that you own for a terabyte of data half of the cost of your system for a terabyte of data so I understand you read this and go, what in the fuck do they expect me to do? And on top of this, by the way, buy a heatsink. 
That's another thing that like they want you to buy. Now, Alex, if you're if you rewind all the way back to I want to say August of last year is when we learned about the Xbox Series X's storage. <clears throat> if you rewind all the way back to that year. I specifically said I am worried because the there's proprietary storage being used with Seagate. Mm-hmm. And I was worried that the prices would be more expensive than necessary or the prices would be not um, fluctuate with the market. Uh, we saw that with Vita, with the Vemir cards, they never fluctuated the market. They stayed overpriced till the day that thing died in a ditch. Mm. Fast forward to now, I am much, much, much happier with Xbox's solution to external storage oh, sure. than PlayStation's. They just First give off, you the little... There's a card. I have it. I own one. You stick it in the back of your system. You are now finished. With this one, you not only have to, first off, make sure that the specs they give you are even working. They are telling you it might not even work. That's what the worrying thing is. It's it's crazy to me because they're they're telling you to use the Fire Cuda. Yes. Why don't, why can't. Weird name, by the way. Why? Well, it's like the you know the the green barracuda, Seagate barracudas. This yeah, is the new I know, one, but fire cuda. fire cuda. Come on, yeah. So the fuck. So I just don't understand because a PlayStation or excuse, it, I, like Apple uses Samsung uh, hard drives. Correct. Why can't you use a Samsung NVMe? It's literally almost fifty bucks cheaper, maybe even hundred bucks cheaper. Maybe it, I can literally I don't... get a Samsung nine eighty NVMe terabyte for. 120 bucks playstation originally said they would have a list readily available <clears throat> to tell people which ones to buy apparently that's not happening anymore second what is it i and i wish they were more clear on why how do you not know how the ssd will work i'm very <clears throat> I, that's my like main you, hic- hiccup. you have engineers for this you have i'm sure there are geniuses at sony uh r&d that know the answers to these questions i f- refuse to believe otherwise why do you not know what ssd will work maybe you can't w- can you not make a list too you they I, if i remember correctly uh during mark Cerny's power hour that he did he said that would be an available thing we will have those ssds and we will make it very clear which which ones to buy <laughs> they are in no way making it clear what to buy they're telling you the specs that they have they don't know if it'll work what the fuck does that do you, mean do you think you think it's because they don't want to test every single one and possibly ruin systems that they have to f- fix they i think the, the whole for reason that? for this is they're, they're worried losing money on the system i think i think the the whole thing they're worried that they're gonna <clears> say <throat> one works and we have like a situation where like two thirds work and there's a whole third that buy it and go, it's not working on my system. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, I think, yep. it, I think it's that. I think they're like, yep. I, they're like, oh, you, you said it would work. Uh, uh, whoops. Um, it doesn't now. We don't know why. Maybe that, maybe that's why. Maybe they're just afraid of committing. I mean, we all understand yeah. that, right? They don't yeah, have the enough. Commitment. They don't have enough systems to be able to test all that. To be able to be like, yeah, we'll replace it. No, they don't. They're not. They're yeah, like, and also they want to make money. Yeah. They don't make money off replacing a system for free. So, well, that and that. like I said, they're already losing money making these systems. Remember they said yeah, they, they like, are. Losing yeah, they are making. They are losing money making both systems. <clears throat> so I'm very curious. I'm very curious how this is going to come out. Um, I will be honest with everyone listening to this. I know I really. made it sound dire. I don't actually care too much about this. I care about the people who might actually go out, buy an SSD, not know what the fuck they're doing, go plug it up, and it doesn't work. And they just dropped $250. Yeah. Your SSD on your PS5. That's on an SSD. You. What? I'm, I'm, just, I'm, tell, I'm telling people right now, do not do open not. up your PS5. Don't. Wait do until not, there's a wait, solution. Wait until there's YouTubers making videos, the, you know, whatever Samsung MVM. This works, and... It does all this other stuff and it works great and, and I haven't had issues. Wait till there's plenty of other people, especially there's if the money's be a, tight. an external eventually. Just I just don't think, wait. I don't think so. I think this is what they got for a while. I think I think this is what they got for a while. Now, it would be it would be a better <clears> wait and see. We have some figure pl- out a, a plug up external. That's a little sure di- PlayStation. That's could. a little different though. First off, Microsoft <clears> has way more money. Second, they've probably known Seagate for way longer and have way more tighter that's relations. Third, PlayStation seemed to almost be like illiterate with some of these things. No offense to people at if if you work at Sony, I, I, this is not directed at anyone. 
But there seems to be a very clear divide in engineering ability. With everything an Xbox can do versus a PlayStation, <clears throat> there seems to be a clear, like, they got the great ones working on Xboxes, and they got, like, they just don't know how to make some of these things happen on a PlayStation. And I don't know. It's worrying, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting, just in case. I, yeah, I'm not, I don't need the memory right now. I anyway. don't need the memory, too. But again, I, I, what I want to bring up, though, is there, I know there's a lot of PlayStation achievers out there that are only playing on PlayStation. I know it's probably annoying to say this, but try and wait. I don't want anyone to like drop up 250 bucks and fuck yourself over. Mm-hmm. I just hate that they... And then you don't have one. Yeah. And I just hate that they're like, mm-hmm. oh, even if we give you the specs, it doesn't work. I yeah. just, that we're, tell- we're telling you what our specs are, but we don't know if it'll work. It blows my mind what? that that's a thing. I can't believe they said that. I can't yeah. believe it. Like telling, um, it's like telling us they're selling us the system. Yeah, uh, we don't know if you know. We don't know if if the if it'll work. Uh, so uh, apologies, achievers. I I I think um. So we use Google Docs <clears throat> to make all of this, and I pre-write everything for the show. <clears throat> uh, maybe one of my edits were accidentally not uploaded, so I'm missing a portion of this. So I'm going to go off memory really quick. Um, they are fixing trophies. Uh, all the trophy hunters out there, me including myself, I'm not an avid trophy hunter. I just do the trophies that I really like in the games, like in Spider-Man and things like that. They are changing it back to the vertical trophy lists, like in PS4. So if you know the PS5 horizontal list, first off, is terrible because it doesn't tell you anything about the trophy. You have to click on it anyways. So what the fuck's the point of this? It looks pretty, but it's stupid. Second, Mm -hmm. vertical, much easier to read because it tells you the entire trophy almost all the time. Third, it's just more. It, it's just, you can see way more on the li- on the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You see way more. You see like ten trophies at once versus it's the five. versus the three maybe on PS5 because yeah. you're not reading like the one on the. I don't know. But they are fixing that as well. Thank God. Uh, thank God. Um, I, I they were unclear if I was I was unclear when I was reading it if this is a setting or if it's just there. It's just this is how it is now. I don't know. So keep it's on the lookout. It could be cool, so you can have the option of go back and forth. But I, I it could, oh, I do, maybe it could, maybe it could be an update. Yeah, I, I agree too. I, I actually wouldn't mind it being a setting because I, I think some people do probably prefer horizontal. They're monsters, but they probably do. And <laughs> if you want to keep it, I think you should be able. To. Who cares? And I doubt it can't just be a setting. I mean, come on. Oh, moving on to date updates. All the updates that we've gotten throughout the week, I put it here. If it interests us, I put it here. If you ever have a day update, remember, you can tweet at us, hashtag date update. Don't actually do that. Just go to Patreon, you <clears> son <throat> of a bitch. Just kidding. We love you. You can either tweet at us, hey, this is a date update for you, add it to the show. Or if you're on Patreon, remember, you can DM us for only that dollar tier. First date update, we got Marvel's Avengers expansion, Black Panther War for Wakanda launches August 17th. Alex. Mm. assemble mm? that's when i'll assemble yeah fuck yeah you will this weekend alex times four xp maybe we dip our toe no it's times four that's so much xp what is that gonna what is that gonna unlock me the skills Another- alex the skills will be so much stronger but we're not gonna use them i like one of us is gonna be black panther so i will be yeah, you're a bitch. That's why. So cool. You, we could technically both be Black Panther. They changed it to where anyone can be any hero now. Oh, so, don't want... so we can All walk. Right. So we can walk up as two Thors if we want to. Weird. Did you see that they added the Endgame Thor suit? I'm going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed Endgame Cap's <laughs> suit. I should have bought that one. Nah. Um. You you lucky this this is the seventeenth because the week per, if it was the same week. This next game, you know I'll be on that. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Siege of Paris expansion officially will be released August 12th. I am so ready for this expansion. I've been waiting for the Siege of Paris. As soon as I saw that, I went sold. I will be paying this DLC. I have been waiting because I did not play Druid's expansion specifically for this. Mm. Specifically to wait for this. Yeah, Yeah, because we did have this issue that we figured out with Watch Dogs as well. Because I bought the season pass, you do not get this correct. I'm pretty sure I do. 
Or no, no, I think I remember. I well, no, there was an issue. Correct, it did not work, but I bought it. Yeah, no, you bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna say it was like, oh, we game share, but then I just remembered the same thing happened. It it didn't work, and I'm pretty sure it didn't work this time as well. So I had bought the season pass to make sure I got all. all Yep. But we're gonna do that. Um, Black for uh, Black for Blood open beta will be coming August 5th through the 9th. You get early access if you have pre-ordered, and then um. Uh, August 12th through the 16th for everyone else. I'm going to try that out. Same here. Um, and if you did not pre-order it, the free access, uh, if you watch an hour of Back for Blood on Twitch, you will get into the early access, apparently. Oh. Pretty cool. What day do you know? I'm assuming on uh, starting August 5th. Oh, okay. So Because that's early access period. Day. Got it. Yeah, so the okay. f- 5th through the 9th, as long as you watch an hour, and I believe there's a bunch of different things. You have to, of course, have a Twitch account. No, yeah, for sure. And you, you have to have, I think goes. you have to have Twitch drops enabled on your account, I think is a thing. Yep. And then the person you're watching also has to have Twitch drops enabled. Yeah, they enable it. Yeah, like yeah. for like the EA Play Live, they didn't, uh, they didn't turn on their Twitch drops, so nobody got the Apex charm. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. So that is, I like, I want that's, Apex charm. that's a hella EA thing, too. That is an mm-hmm. EA they never, ass oh, move. They never turn it on either. It's yeah. so annoying. Like, literally the whole time they were recording and doing the live thing, they were like, oh, yeah, just make sure, you know, you, you stay on here. And at the end of the show, you, know, you get that Apex charm. They said it like 10 times on the show. They're begging you to the please, for the love of God, stay yeah, <laughs> to watch the I show. Am, I, I'm an Apex legend charm or something like that. Yeah. But I was like, man, eh, I don't want it. Hannah Bridge of Spirits announced today via their mm. Twitter at Ember Lab Studios. Mm. We have made the difficult decision. To delay the release of Kenna until September 21st to polish the game across all platforms. The team has been working extremely hard, and we feel the extra time is critical to ensure the best experience possible. Much other stuff I don't think you need to hear about. It. They're delaying it till September 21st. Not too far, not too away, not too far. Not too away. far, not too far. And I get time. it. I get it. It's a beautiful game, so please yeah, let, it make... pot, let it let it let it be polished. I want I want that experience specifically. I want <clears throat> clean. I mm-hmm. compare it to yeah. God of War. Where, like, when I played that game, I was lucky enough to just have, like, a completely enraptured experience throughout. Didn't have any hiccups. At no point mm-hmm. did, like, some weird glitch happen. I was good. That game um, was, a, was, 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 a, was a 11 out of 10. Mm-hmm. It broke the, it broke the 10 out of 10. Just broke it. We can't even use it anymore. That's why we don't, that's why we don't use it. It just broke mm-hmm. it. Boy. Ooh. God. Alex! Mm. that's the news for the week that's it that is it unfortunately but nothing happening i do like to end the show just like we begin with one simple question but before we get to that question just i want to remind you remember to like comment subscribe share with a friend give us whatever you think is fair over on patreon.com slash achievers whether it's a buck two dollars a thousand dollars we appreciate it we love you remember you can dm us there any question comment concern thought and or idea or you could just post on the community board and talk with the community with me or Alex. <laughs> and of course, you can comment below. We answer any questions there as well. Lastly, Alex, one more question mm. for you, sir. And then we're going to go. What do you have queued up? Now, of course, this is a question for the audience and the achievers as well. What do you have queued up? This, of course, can be a game, a video game, some sort of comic or book, some sort of TV show or movie, anything. What's it queued? Mm, I have a lot of things I gotta do. Mm, I'll start first then because mine's much shorter. Yeah, Lost ahead. with the wife. Were we watching? I'm on season two. Very excited. Oh. Having a great time. Great time with her. Love it. Mm. Watching yeah, it's the her Olympics. First time, right? Yes, it is our first time. She oh, loves it. Envious. This is my fourth or fifth time rewatching the series. I remember Who's when counting? you made me watch it and I'm like zoned in and I could see you like looking at me like, is he gonna freak? Is he gonna freak out? Is he gonna freak out? Is he like gonna... the thing that I do to you when yeah. I, so oh, I yeah. watch something. I'm yeah. just like, is he going to freak out when this happens? Because I'm like watching the screen like I know it's about to happen. Oh, my yep. God. So I was I the same way with Rebecca because I knew something <clears throat> was going to happen and she liked that character and just looked over. Oh, like... it's like a Game of Thrones type of thing. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Lost, finishing up. Vikings, I'm trying to finish. Cool. Um, Olympics, enjoying the hell out of the Olympics. Swimming, cool. incredible to watch. Archery, also incredible mm-hmm. to watch. Any any Olympic sport, me and the wife are also watching. Canoeing is very fun. A lot of a lot of mm-hmm. fun Olympic sports are, are are being had. That's really it for me. It's more just Destiny, more just Apex. We're gonna play, be playing Death Store. Hopefully, 
I heard it's not too long, so I might actually finish that this weekend. Unsure. I'm at thirty percent in the game. So yeah, far. I heard it's not long at all. So. Yeah. Alex. So I uh start, I did a re I was doing a rewatch on the Fa Fast and Furious movies. I'm almost done with those. I gotta get I gotta finish it. I got like two movies left. Um been playing Death Door. I wanna get back to that. Probably gonna play a bit more of that. Um I was getting back into Destiny. I need to go back into it so I can get it to thir uh, power level 13. I just I could do that. I could do VOD. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just waiting for the new Apex season to start. So I gave it a little break this week so I can feel fresh for the new season. Yeah, you get. Yeah, you feel kind of more revitalized to play. Yep. yep. Since they're uh, buffing up my man again, Caustic, they're giving him a, a buff again. Mm -hmm. I, I, I saw I, I saw it's it's they're going to do more damage the longer you're in it. Yep. It's just that the is it the ult is shorter. But, it's but it does do way more, more damage. It, it does more damage every other second. So yeah. it'll do two, four. Six, it'll go five, five, oh. six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and it, it just keeps and it going. Just keep up. going it until they no, die. Yeah, literally, it can go up to like twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think it'll be alive. You'll be either dead or you're healing, like mid heal, mm -hmm. and you're probably either about to die or you're getting out of it. Yeah, but that's it, really that's good. Both that's both for the for the traps and his ult. It's just that oh, ult I didn't is, know the traps did that. I, yeah, I, I believe it's for both. But the ult is it just takes a little longer to detonate and it doesn't last as long. So it's it like I said, it's, it is shorter. That's mm -hmm. the only. Downfall. I'll be back as well. Uh, the yeah. opener of the season two play. With yeah, you, I'm so. hoping this season it'll be a better uh, for ranked. It'll be a better map because my god, I hate Olympia. I can't yeah. do Olympia. I I, I can't. Uh, I can't. That's why I, I bowed out last That's, season. I, I was like, I can't do this, guys. Thing, I can't do this. But for ranked, dude, I couldn't. It took so long. Uh, I was so close from diamond, man, but couldn't do it. I mm -hmm. just stayed platinum. Mm -hmm. I understood. But, I understood. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's everything, achievers. That's everything. Yeah. We. Uh, I was worried actually we wouldn't hit that hour mark. I liked spending an hour w with the with the achievers, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to leave until then. And we didn't even push it; it just kind of naturally happened. I love I love it when yeah. that happens. I was worried we wouldn't hit that hour mark, but yeah, you get me talking, right. I won't stop talking. No, we love it. We love it, Alex. <clears throat> you all know the the spiel. I said it already, but remember, if you want to support us, you know the deals. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. That always helps us. Helps us tremendously. Five star reviews on any podcast service you're listening to as well. And on that note, remember, go play Death's Door. Thank God, Chief. Thank God, Chief.